Hello everybody, it's Elijah Ben Blackwell, CD Run Fossil, and this is Blue Maxima, or the Flashpoint Launcher. This is the Flash game archival thing that's been getting all kinds of news. Uh, w Flash Player ends this year. I wrote about it in my uh, one of my articles on the website. And a couple people have been asking me forever to do videos on Flash games because, well, they are an important part of computer gaming history. I've just always been reluctant because I try to stick to physical stuff. Yeah, I did Minecraft, but... <clears throat> that was like one of the few things I did. And that was back when I didn't really have a whole lot of games in the collection. But you know what? This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to go into Nostalgia Lane and flip out a little bit. I'm really excited. I did ask Instagram what Flash games I should play, and I will take a look at those. But first, I'm going to explore a little bit myself. Uh, we're just going to go to the Hall of Fame and see what people consider the best. Oh, wow. There's a lot here. Um, I've played Flash games so much that... I know I'm going to recognize a lot of these, and I already, I already recognize a lot of these. Uh, and some of these games got turned into full-fledged products later on. Pico School, that one got uh, recommended to me. But we're just going to play a little bit. This is going to be kind of like a Let's Play, a classic Let's Play. And I say that because it's kind of paying homage to my own, um, my own past. When I had a YouTube channel that was nothing but Let's Plays. Uh, it's gonna be nice to just kind of be relaxed. I didn't want to do anything special for this or anything super, um, super planned or intense or anything. So we're just gonna go ahead, and this is gonna be super edited, and we're gonna take a look at some games. If you like this video, once it's over, let me know, and maybe I'll make this a series. Who knows? It depends on how much I want to go through. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. I don't hear any audio. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I do definitely remember this. That music's very familiar. You know, that's fine. I'll play that. The world has fallen into darkness. Nation after nation fell to the power of the Confederacy. Borders no longer exist between countries. The earth has become one big graveyard. Those who remain united in a desperate attempt to restore the shattered world and sin against the common evil. You know, I will say that like, Flash games are kind of like, remind me like the early days of DOS. Um, a lot of people just, you know, making games, man, and having fun while they do it, and it's definitely going to be a trip playing this stuff. But yeah, I, man, I play Crimson of Warfare all the time. Definitely one of my favorite. Alright, so... You can build things to get going. Let's go ahead and make us some light units. Ooh, that's loud. <laughs> just this is like some early strategy for me this is kind of what got me into strategy games man i used to play this all the time you have no idea uh tuner mode black well you must release space to switch gears okay oh man gotta i love this don't have the car yet gotta go to the dealer class c and look at all these baby yeah i when you don't need to worry about paying royalties you could get whatever car brand you want in your game this is insane well we, we gotta go with the honda civic right right Heck yeah. <laughs> you can change the name out if you want. Get a yellow? Let's buy that car. I bought the Honda Civic. Let's go race. We'll wager. Oh yeah, easy difficulty, that's fine. Oh god, oh god. Oh, I see now. You have to actually let go of shift. Or space. The game told me that too. Oh, my engine broke down. Okay. Well, I lost that. Let's try that again. Oh, I got you, boy. B. I got you this time. No, I don't. I don't have you this time. I lost. 
these games are always pretty fun and entertaining and I've, i saw them multiple times oh i need to look up a flash game the uh this was always popular and fun to watch even though you knew what happened you'd watch them over and over again Check to credit from useful, haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job. I don't want to lose my job. <laughs> See you around. Here you go. Hmm. Yeah, this is bringing back memories. Uh, drill. <laughs> Opacitator? Huh. Walk through law walls, apparently. Classic. <laughs> Think something like that would come up in beta testing. Crowbar instead. Still might end up in death though. Try dodging the bullets, noob. I don't think I can dodge. Oh, I gotta be quicker about it. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, it worked. Oh, God. Oh no, I gotta do it all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be ready. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click. I'm just gonna cheat. I'm just gonna click. Man, this, this is bringing me much more enjoyment than I thought it would. I thought like I'd never go back and play flash games because why would you? you got games now but i don't know it's just this just this fun and hilarious as i remember can't wait to get copyright strikes though Nice. Is it the bush shootout? From Mini Clip? Yeah, I think this is exactly what I'm thinking of. Ah, oh, Mini Clip, I spent so much time there. Oh, yeah, this is definitely what I'm thinking of. I played this so much. Yep. I used to play this all the time. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, I'm looking at the how to play. Uh, uh, dude, I. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, 1129 p.m. Sunday. <laughs> it's just the graphics of this are insane. In fact, someone managed to pull this off.
remember the fact that you can just shoot everything and put bullet holes in everything. It's insane that someone was able to develop this so well. A joke game. By killing, trying to kill you, you George Bush, defending yourself. Mini Clip had such amazing games. But yeah, I played the heck out of this. That is awesome. And there's more than just this one, the Oval Office one. There's a lot more. Combat Heaven, baby. Oh, man. Okay, I'm glad I did this now. I was very skeptical at first, but... Oh, that music. This brings back so many memories. I didn't expect to have this bad of a nostalgia trip, but... Man. I played this a lot. Yeah, this... This is very familiar. Stickman weapons and tactics. Cute. There's a lot of flash games I just can't remember the name of. Oh wow, Half-Life sound effects. <laughs> Goofies that all get out. I definitely don't remember this one, to be honest. Don't think I ever played this one. But it looks like your stereotypical flash game that I'd play back then. Gotta love gotta love the half-life sound effects. Stick, 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 stick RPG. Yeah, there's the complete one. Then you have the demo in Stick RPG 2. Stick RPG 2 was the one that got the full release on Steam, I think. Oh, while well, this one's loading, I'll show you my Steam library. Stick RPG 2, yeah, it was the full one. I never, you can see I only put three minutes in. I never actually played it. Because I was disappointed when I found out it wasn't this one. I played this a lot. Eh, it's too unlimited. You want lots of strength and intelligence in this game. I'm gonna remember. But anyway. Oh, yeah. I do like how some of this is flipping out graphics-wise. Yeah, you could... Give that dude smokes, and I'm pretty sure he gave you a, a bike. I'm going to test this theory. Keep pressing right-click. Yeah, so you buy smokes. Go up here. And you give it to this guy. Skateboard received. Yeah. There you go. Hold shift while walking. And I lost karma because I gave somebody smokes. Check messages. Sweet. Two fifty. I'm the CEO. I now have the best job you can get. Stick RPG. Cannot believe I did all this. Nice. Make a ton of money now. Okay. Is there, um... Oh, what was the name of that game? It might be under Adventure. Was it... Was it Frank? Oh, I gotta do some Googling. Frank's Adventure! 
I could play a lot of these forever. I can't believe stick RPG is the one I got stuck up on, but yeah. A lot of them are just endless stuff. Maybe it was in... Oh, where's that Zombie Mario? I was kind of curious about what that what the heck that was. Zombie Mario. Okay. What the... What, what am I playing? What's so zombie about this? Oh, my lord. Oh, okay, well. Maybe it was... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Or I don't think it's called Basic Instinct. I think it's just called Instinct. Instinct. Combat Instinct, dude. I've played these all the time. Dude. All right, I think this first one's a flight thing. I don't remember the first one as much as I remember the second and third one more. Just because of the hilarious voice acting and the boy, yeah, do it, do it, the boy, yeah, and so on. <laughs> okay, I'll take that back to voice acting in the first game. Oh, yeah. This is bringing back some memories. Let's do it. Move! <laughs> oh man, he like goes back and forth. There's just a lot to go through. I've been filming for an hour and 31 minutes. I think I'll just make this episode one. If you want more, let me know. I'm allowed to be like with Ceron Fossil. Let me know if you want to see more of this. Uh, I, I played a little bit of, of what I was willing to do. If you want to see another episode, I might try to just collect some games off camera and try to find them all. Uh, yeah, I've got to play some real games till bedtime. See you then, whatever the next episode is.